What's up guys, it's Austin here and for today's showcase Saturday, we're not doing monsoon even though I have a monsoon in my hand. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Het Monsoons and to be honest here we don't think it's a recessive morph. If you know what a recessive means, it's a gene that's only expressed if it comes from both parents so it has to be a homozygous and the heterozygous form of these or the incomplete dominant form we're actually able to go and pick out and see. So today we're gonna to try and change your mind on whether if Monsoon is a recessive or a codom. Before we get to that, huge shout out to Bomb Projects. Go and check them out. They just made a crazy DG clown, posted it on their Instagram a few days back. Go show them some love, give them a follow, and let's get straight into the Het Monsoons. Right here we have an asphalt Het for Monsoon, and right away you can notice this looks a little different than your average asphalt, and Looking at the pattern on the sides and even the overall color, there's a lot of differences here than the average asphalt. Usually the asphalts tend to look exactly like yellow bellies. They have some flaming coming up the bellies and they kind of look like a normal as well. But right away, I could tell the snake is a lot darker than the average asphalt. Especially in between the patterns, we got a lot of nice jet black colors coming in. And that's a really good indicator for Het Monsoon. We've been noticing that they mix a lot darker snakes usually, especially with darker combos. We're getting a lot of leopards, with really nice blacks in them, asphalts, even Enchi, it changes the color in. So right off the bat, we're noticing it's changing a lot of the colors. And then secondly, we're noticing it's changing a lot of the pattern on the top and even on the bottom of the snake. If you look at the belly here, we're having a lot of checkering along the belly. And if we go back to that monsoon female that we showed you earlier, we're gonna add a little clip here. You can go and see that her belly is very similar to this, has a lot of speckling on it, just not as dark as the asphalt version what you're looking at right now. So that's another really good indicator for Het Monsoon. Some combos, especially with Bell Complex, you're gonna hide that. So it's not across the whole board. That's where we're gonna give you a couple of different examples of Het Monsoons here today, just to go and show you what we're looking for. And another one of those key things that we look for is a head stamp. And that's also not always the case with certain Bell Complex, once again, and even other morphs. But here with the asphalt, we don't have that crazy special head stamp that you're gonna see a little bit later, but we still have a little bit of a different head stamp than your average asphalt. Kinda looks like a smiley face if you look at it this way. And lastly, one of the last markers we look for is just a wacky pattern in the dorsal. And specifically, pattern like this where we have floating alien heads usually one two and sometimes even three you're getting a lot of speckling in there just like right here kind of looks like the hurricane stuff no hurricane in this pairing at all whatsoever and then we also notice you see you got alien heads over here sometimes they will go and get dragged up into the dorsal and band over the back like what you're seeing over here and we're just going to show you more examples and how consistent this is across the board with the Het Monsoons. So let's get into some other combos. Here we have a Black Pastel Double Het Monsoon Lavender. And this guy is, or this girl, is very deep in shed right now. And right off the bat, you can see it has very dark colors, even though it's in shed. And when this girl is actually out of shed, she's a lot darker than the average Black Pastel. And once you look at the pattern, you can see how crazy and wacky it is compared to a normal one. Usually you have alien heads along the sides, but you don't have any of this flecking inside. If you see, we have all these little spots in the alien heads and the donuts. It kind of looks like sprinkles on a donut over here. And just really cool and very different than your average black pastel. We also got some of that flecking coming up from the belly once again that we're noticing in the Het Monsoons. And it's pretty much across the board in almost all combos once again. Just like the Bell Complex, Cinnamon's and Black Pastels tend to keep a white belly, even though they're 100% Het Monsoon. And for looking at the dorsal pattern, once again, we have all those little keyholes and circles along the dorsal. Great markers for Het Monsoon. And if we look at the pattern along the side, we're getting that chaining again, where you get those two connecting, and even some of the alien heads dragging up towards the top. Very consistent across the board until you start adding genes like Enchi. We're gonna get into some more combos. Uh, with a couple more jeans in them just to show you how they look but very different look with the Het Monsoons. Here we have a Leopard Special Double Het for Hypo Monsoon, Possible Het for Pied and with all the chaining at the tail I'm pretty sure that she is going to go prove out for us here and right off the bat this is Bell Complex so we know that the belly is going to be primarily white. We do have some flecking but very sporadic and there's not too much on here and once we look at the side pattern we're seeing a lot of chaining. 
that happens with leopard and het pied, but it doesn't quite happen like this where you have all these really weird pattern. Usually you get a lot more uniform alien heads like this. And when you get the chaining, usually you just get drags across the belly. But especially over here, you can see how much the het monsoon changed that, whacked it out, added a little bit of peppering, and just took those little uh, alien heads and dragged them up a little bit into the dorsal, just like what you're seeing over here. You're not seeing too many circles, and when you do see the circles like over here and here, they're floating, just like the other head monsoons we produced. And once again, Special gives you that really nice head stamp, kind of looks like a bone or a tower right over there. And then with the leopard, sometimes we notice that you can get these little horns on the back there, looking really cool. And once again, the overall color of the snake is a little bit darker than what you'd expect from a Leopard Special. Special is one of those genes that tends to enhance color and make it a little bit brighter. But here, we're still having really nice dark tones throughout. Some really nice orange, almost rusty flames coming up from the sides, which again, we've noticed is very common with the Het Monsoon stuff. It likes to bring the dark patterns, but also give a little bit of a reddish hue to it. And you can see that over here inside of the dorsal blushing. Here we have a pastel leopard, 100% head monsoon female. We were actually lucky enough to produce a monsoon with this girl. And another thing we're noticing with the pastel gene is it's one of those genes that gives you no head stamp. And that's because the pastel tends to flush out the area and we think that it just hides the head stamp. And another thing we've noticed with the pastels is that they tend to have all white bellies, just like the bell complex, even though they're 100% head for monsoon. And looking at the pattern along the sides, you can see just how crazy it is. And that real Het Monsoon influence. You looked at that last leopard that we had there. Similar chaining with a lot wackier pattern. This one is not Het Pied though. And you can really see just all those alien heads getting dragged up into the dorsal. All the peppering throughout. And this looks nothing like your typical pastel leopard. Even with the Het Pied in there, it will not give you dragging and pattern like this. It's a really unique pattern and look. Kind of looks like the Hurricane, but in its own way it does not at the same time. And I think a lot of the Het Monsoon combos are going to be amazing. Not as nice as the visual monsoons. I think there's a lot to do with the heterozygous form of this, or the incomplete dominant form. And I think it can really change the way some of these combos look and give us a lot more wackier pattern. So here is another proven breeder Het Monsoon we have here. This is a lesser leopard Het Monsoon. And once again, bell complex, white belly, and usually no head stamp, but we do have a little bit of one over here, and we got those horns again. The leopard, once again, tends to give you those horns at the top of the head, and we even got a little bit of a head stamp in the middle there as well. So moving away from the head and looking at the overall pattern of the snake, you can notice that it's a lot more wacky than your normal leopard lesser, especially over here where we have the alien heads going up into the dorsal, a lot of weird speckling and just not uniform pattern like you're used to seeing inside the lesser leopards or even just lessers. So really cool to see what else we could do with the Hemon suit. Maybe even get it into the Hurricane stuff to go and make the pattern that much more wackier because it looks very similar to Hurricane Trick and Blitz. And I think maybe even a Hayabusa Hemon suit would just take the cake and give you the wackiest pattern ever. Here we have an Enchi Mojave Ashfall Sash Yellow Belly Het for Monsoon. And Enchi is one of those genes that cleans up pattern, so it tends to hide a little bit of the Het Monsoon markers. We still have some weird patterns, some long alien heads going this way, and other ones that are coming up and giving us those little dots. But overall, this is a lot more messier than your average Enchi Mojave. Usually mochis have a lot more cleaner pattern, similar to what we're seeing over here at the tail, but you can notice just how many more alien heads, floating pattern, and just the dragging up in the dorsal are great indicators, as well as the overall color of the snake. If you look at the head, it is very dark. Usually Enchi Mojaves tend to have similar colors to what we're seeing in here with the flaming. The dorsal, that whole area stayed very dark, like what happens with the Het Monsoons. And since we have Mojave in here, shouldn't really have to tell you, the belly is going to be pretty much all white. We do have a little bit of speckling coming from the Het Monsoon mixed with the Asphalt Sash Yellow Belly, but a lot more muted than it would be without the Mojave inside. Without Mojave, you'd have a lot more pattern along the belly. Here we have a pied possible Het for Monsoon, and this girl does not want to cooperate at all. She even got herself a little bit messy with her poop. But looking at this, you can see it looks nothing like a normal pied. 
This is giving us almost like an Enchi Pie like pattern, just very sporadic and very different. We're also noticing at the neck, we got this really cool striping. And this is only a possible Hep Hide, but there was no other jeans inside of the clutch rather than Hep Monsoon. So to go and see something like this pop out, we're pretty confident this is generally what the Pied Hep Monsoons are going to look like. With some combos, it's definitely going to go and switch and change it up. But across the board, you're going to get a lot of wacky pattern and darker colors, especially inside of the middle towards the dorsal. Once again, we're getting those really nice dark tones coming in. The Hep Monsoon seems to go and love to bring dark tones in. And we even have a little bit of like some sort of paradox there. It almost looks like some monsoon pattern is trying to come through. And we've actually produced some in the past with clutches of me and Lord of Lion who's on the camera. We've had some pies that look really wacky with some paradoxing of the Hep Monsoon. And we'll show you two more pies that we think are going to prove Hep Monsoon. Here we have a yellow belly pied possible Hep for Monsoon. And looking at this next to a normal yellow belly pied, I see some drastic changes, especially with the dark colors once again inside of the dorsal here. These are a lot darker than your normal yellow belly pied. Even though it still has that pixelation from the yellow belly, we're even noticing a lot of dark pixelation along the borders of the pied. And once again, a lot of that really nice floating pixelated pattern throughout, especially towards the tail here, just gives it a totally different look than your average yellow belly pied. Once again, we have that striping along the neck there, looking really cool. And just the overall color of the snake it has a lot of those oranges from the yellow belly or pumpkin pied, but the head monsoon just came in and darkened the whole thing up. We don't really have that much of a head stamp and no belly pattern, of course. But what we are noticing is on the tail over here, we do get some belly pattern as well can happen on some other pieds, but all the pied possible hep monsoons with markers that we've hatched so far tend just to look really weird, especially towards the tail where you usually get a little bit of pattern. Some of the ones like the special pies we've made, they're a higher white pied, usually just head pattern. So it's a little bit harder to pick out. And with those, you can get somewhat of a head stamp like the special hep monsoons. But overall, really pleased with the pied hep monsoons look like. Can't wait for some monsoon pieds. So for the last snake, we chose to pick this leopard pied possible head for monsoon. And the darkness in the snake, the wacky pattern throughout, looks a lot similar to what we were seeing with the leopard head monsoons. So pretty safe to say that this is going to be a leopard pied female, 100% head for monsoon. Until we prove her out, she's only a 50% head. But just the striping, the weird pattern coming up from the belly, and all the little alien heads and sporadic dots we're getting throughout are great indicators that this is going to prove out head for monsoon. Do have a little bit of weird pattern along the tail there on the belly, but nothing like that last yellow belly pied. And just super excited to go and actually make a monsoon pied. We have a few chances this year, and we're actually going to be coming back and making a monsoon video hopefully soon enough. We just need to make a couple more monsoons. We did produce one this year, but we did sell it to Nashty Morphs, and if you're already not checking them out, go and check them out, Nashty Morphs on Instagram, and I even believe that they have a YouTube as well, so check them out there too. But that's going to be it for the Het Monsoon video, hope you enjoyed it. A lot of redundant information because a lot of the markers are very similar. We do have a whole lot more, but there are some genes that kind of hide the Het Monsoon or don't show it as well, and you do get some examples that are poorer examples with less pattern or less wackiness in the pattern and then some that look really cool with a lot of wackiness in the pattern. That's just a lot of variability within the ball pythons and polymorphism. So if you guys have some Hep Monsoons and you want us to help you ID them, go check out our Patreon where we have our IDing section. It's a service that we do where we can ID snakes for you, as well as a whole bunch of other content on how to take your projects to the next level. Check that out if you haven't already. That's going to be it for today's video. Comment down below what you guys would like to see for next Showcase Saturday. And until then, have a great day and peace out.